Hello everybody! Happy Video Monday! This is Tisha Mahar and I'm with my girlfriend today, Marge. This is Marge. <laughs> She's actually been featured in videos before and I apologize if I'm a little bit sillier than normal because this girl brings it out <laughs> of me so that's probably going to happen. Today we are doing a chocolate haul if you can see here in front of us. Whoa. Oh yeah! Chocolate party going down. So someone requested that I give my opinion on the best quality chocolate that you can buy Great in the question. stores yeah. or online or wherever you shop for your raw chocolate or your chocolate. Mm -hmm. So to begin with, the purest form of chocolate you can buy would be raw cacao. And you can buy it in, um, basically they look like little nibs. I'm going to just show you just in case you've never seen it before. And this is the the purest way you can purchase chocolate. It hasn't been processed with, you know, sugar or it hasn't been cooked down or anything like that. You can see raining chocolate here. So they're just these little nibby things. Mm. Okay, so that's raw chocolate. You'll see, you'll be looking for organic raw cacao. Now that's as pure as you can get. And chocolate in that form has so many benefits. It's truly a superfood, really rich in magnesium, really rich in iron and fiber. It's wonderful for um, boosting your happy chemicals in your brain, your serotonin levels. Um, what else about chocolate? It's been shown to be really good for your heart health. So there's a million benefits. But like all things, we don't want to just eat chocolate all day. That's not mm -hmm. a good a good thing to do either but raw cacao is absolutely something that I think can you know be part of everyone's healthy lifestyle now that said raw cacao like I just showed you it's pretty bitter like do you ever eat raw cacao just like that like the actual nibbies no I put them in my smoothies right mainly my, so like yeah my protein smoothies so often people will do that, like they'll put them in their smoothies and because they have like some fruit or something else sweet, like their protein, yeah, powder, protein powder, it cuts it a For little sure. bit and it actually works really well. So if you want to avoid sugar entirely, just buy organic raw cacao nibs and add it to other things or if you can get used to it, just eating it pure. But that's always going to be the best. So is it, would it be as bitter or not as sweet as like it, you just said? Like 100% or is it 85 It's 100%. Oh. Yeah, so there's no sugar, there's no processing that's been involved yeah. at all. So it's raw it's really quite cacao. It's okay. the cacao nib, like that lib yeah. nibby thing came from inside of a cacao bean. Oh. So that's as pure as, it, as you can get. So if you're really after purity, mm -hmm. go with that. Raw, organic, look for a company that is making organic raw cacao okay. nibs or beans. Mm -hmm or powder, however form you want to use it. But a lot of the time we want a little bit of a pick-me-up in the middle of the afternoon or we want to just like enjoy some really delicious chocolate at Christmas time and the best tasting chocolate generally is going to have at least a little bit of sugar but it doesn't necessarily have to have a lot. So I do recommend if you are looking to consume chocolate and still keep it healthy which I know most of you guys are mm -hmm. Um, and even you will really want to give your kids like good quality chocolate to eat, not shitty chocolate. So <laughs> in real life, I that's often right. swear a lot, don't I? It's the truth. So that's a pretty authentic moment right there. But the caffeine part is still there? Yes. Okay. Good question or good comment. Kids, like I just want to know. Like, yeah. It's, it's... So the darker the chocolate is, so raw cacao or 89 or 90%, the darker it is, the more, more caffeine it's gonna have. Oh, the darker it is. Yeah, yeah. So, but oh, so but many pros and cons. Right. <laughs> that's what we're gonna get to here. But the less sugar it has. Ugh. So that's the the pro of darker is that it has less sugar. So for adults, I find that's usually the better way to go. Okay, but for yep. the kids, kids who are sugar sensitive, you kind or caffeine sensitive, obviously, you want to be careful with that. But sugar will amp up your kids really a lot, right yeah. now, a lot too. But you yeah. really want to be careful with caffeine in kids. So keep that in mind. But for all of you adults watching this, I would really recommend you go with something that's at least 70% or above. Now, I personally have here in front of me three, four, five, six of what I 
I would, you know, consider to be the best quality chocolate you can find on the market with all things considered. Like all of these are pretty, you know, um, well, well, all of them are in all areas you feel. Yes, or? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All of them are, for example, organic. Um, all of them are, um, uh, what fairly else? Dark. Gluten free, yeah. fairly dark, uh, uh, vegan, all, so of, important. Yeah. all of these things considered. So we're going to go through that with each one, but basically this is one of them that we picked in. One of the reasons that we picked this, and by the way, we're going to try to do this video in the store and be like really like cool about it, like in the, <laughs> in the aisles, but it didn't work out because we got in trouble for filming. Yeah. So now we're here in the cold, just getting it done for yeah. you guys. So this was the first one we picked. And part of the reason we picked this is because it's really common to find this one. Um, where is it made? I wonder. Ottawa. Okay, so yeah. it's a Canadian brand. But pretty much everywhere in Canada you can find this one, even in, like, the regular grocery stores. So that's why we wanted to pick it. Overall, it's pretty darn good. The things that aren't necessarily great about this one um, would be that it does say may contain milk. So it's possible that you're going to get traces of milk in this one where you're not going to necessarily get that with some of the other ones. This one that we picked is 71%, but it's available darker than that. So the main thing to keep in mind here is as dark as you can go is better because it's less sugar. And sugar is truly the most toxic thing ever. Okay. Does that make any so, sense so far? Yeah, and this one does not have the vegan symbol on it. That's why they have to put... It has, right, like milk right. Traces. So this okay. one isn't get it's not thank you. 100%. Shh, you are a great assistant. So you, <laughs> so it's yeah. It is gluten free. It is organic and fair trade. It's a good company, you know. Yeah. Overall, but yeah, and it is processed a little bit. Like it's not completely raw. This one. So the ingredients are cocoa mass, cane sugar, cocoa butter, and vanilla beans. So. If you're seeing it, if you don't see it saying raw cacao, it means that the chocolate has been cooked. So every time you cook something, you are losing some of the yeah. nutrients, the quality. There's a process there that's happening. There's a okay. process. So it's more processed, but overall still really good, all things considered. Okay. And again, easy to find this one. And you can get it from in 60%, 70%, 80%, whatever. Cool? Mm -hmm. So take that one, one. Take that one home for the kitties because it's much less, well, less right. caffeine it's than salty. everything else we have yeah. here. Yeah. So the next one we have here is the good old green and blacks. And again, I picked this one because it's for. It's also all things considered very good, but it's also very widely available. So in terms of most stores, you're going to find it. Yep. I saw this everywhere in the Middle East. I saw this all throughout Europe. I see it everywhere in Canada. So really common to find this. Um, again, there's been some processing. This is not raw. Um, and again, may contain milk. So also not certified vegan, but it is certified organic and fair trade. And you want to always make sure that your chocolate is good quality because um, chocolate is associated with being a high mold like cashews are also similar in yes. that way. So you want to be careful with Peanuts. your sourcing. Yeah. yeah, so sourcing is important. So in terms of that, all that we have here is really good. Um, yeah, so again, this is an 85. You can get this in different ranges, but darker the better, in my opinion. So this is green and blacks. And I would put these two in the same like equivalent category in terms of like, like not the best ever that you can get, but good overall and easy to find. Okay. Is that thorough yeah. so far? Yeah. I had to actually Definitely. message Mar Mar Marge and say, what's a chocolate haul? Someone wants me to do a chocolate haul. I don't know what that means. And she said, you buy all the chocolate and you talk about it. So that's yeah. what's happening. Guys. Best video ever. So the next one I want to talk about is this guy right here. And I included this one because, to be honest, I find this chocolate right here to be so effing good. Like, it's so good. But I don't buy it all the time because it has things in it that I'm not a fan of. And that's probably why it's so good. Because they've messed with it. And the price point no is different, No offense, endangered yeah? species. They've added some things, like for example, it's it's dark chocolate, so it's like has chocolate liqueur. It's again, not raw. And they have some soy lecithin in there. Okay. Um, it is gluten-free, it is vegan. 
Okay, so actually, I'm sorry, you guys. This isn't that different than this one here. These three, those, can you hold up the other one? These three are all kind of in the same ballpark. They're mm -hmm. not raw. They're not like crazy pure. But this one is vegan. These ones aren't. Um, what was it about this one? that? Oh, yeah, the reason I didn't buy this one so much is because of the soy lecithin. So it's an emulsifier, and it comes from soy. And soy is like a high GMO thing. So that's the reason I avoid this one. It's the only reason. It is so good tasting. Really? So usually I get this one at Christmas time, and my niece and I eat a lot of it because she really loves it Love too. It. So we have it like at Christmas, but I don't buy this one. Like I eat chocolate every day, and I don't buy this one usually in that case every day because of that. Yeah. Does that make sense? And what's but the price range of that This one is so one? good tasting. Is it super expensive or is should it try doable? It and tell them if you think it is too. Should we try it at the end or? a little nibble. The price points. So we'll get we'll do that at the end. You don't love it? Do you love it? It's been out in the cold, but it's been out in the cold. It is pretty legit. It's good, right? Yeah. Better than the others that you've tried? I haven't I've only tried these two. Yes. Maybe I've tried this one like a while ago and I avoid I avoid this one because I feel like it's very commercial and I don't, it doesn't have the vegan, like it's not, I don't know. Yeah, we better just, get through this. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be here all day. So, yeah, so these, okay, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. So, really Those good three, tasting chocolate. Yeah. Has a bit of soy lecithin. If you're not sensitive to that, it's really good. This is a great option so far for those who are like vegan and they really want to make sure there's zero milk. So, so far that fits that category. Um, the next one that I want to talk about is this one here. This one is called Sacred Chocolate. And when it comes to, okay, wait, I'm going to come back to that one. I want to finish this first. So this Alter Ego, also super amazing, um, fits all the criteria that are like, make it amazing. It cacao, has cacao beans, so not processed chocolate. Okay. It has cacao beans, it has cocoa butter, cane sugar, and vanilla, but it's super dark. Okay. No emulsifiers, no artificial flavors or ingredients, totally vegan as well. So this would be my second, I have three that are tied for like first place in terms of quality. Okay. And this is one of them. I think this is really great. The only thing that's not like super make this one top top is that it is still not, it's not completely raw. And I do okay. like, if possible, to get it raw, too. But this one is very, very good, guys. No processing whatsoever. Okay, good yeah. to know. This one here, yeah. So now I'm going to get to the two top in terms of companies. This one here, which you guys have seen. Look at her gorilla paws tore it apart. You can't even, oh, like, find, see what the packaging says. You really got into that. So crazy. <laughs> gorilla paws. So this one is Giddy Yo-Yo. And this one is Sacred Chocolate. And both of these companies are like amazing. Canadian. Canadian. Sacred Chocolate is David States, Wolf's yeah. company. So that's the Oh, States. David Wolf's. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now you really like it. Good to know. So this one was pricey. Guys, like these companies really care about the product that they're putting out. And so in terms of like their facility, the factory that they're cooking or processing or uncooking the product. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Preparing their food in, like all things considered, like these people, like you said, yeah, legit, um, completely raw, super dark. I mean, this one is not as dark. Sorry, this one's only sixty nine percent, but I think that that will probably work for a lot of you guys who don't like it super super dark. Good balance, good in between. Good balance because yeah. it's not crazy dark. It's still gonna taste like sweet, yeah. but you're also gonna be guaranteed that quality. No soy lecithin. No, um, hasn't been alkalized with anything. Super clean, yeah. Super clean. So all, these two fit all the criteria. Does that make sense? Yeah. Vegan, gluten-free, they're raw, they're everything. So this is Giddy Yo-Yo, and this one is Sacred Chocolate. But again, if you can help me, Marge, these other ones here, this would be like the third place. And Very then nice. these ones are all tied for fourth place. But this one tastes really good 
<laughs> Should we go through that one more time? <laughs> okay, so these are first place because they fit every criteria that we want when we're looking for a raw But this cacao. one's a different price point. You gotta mention that because that one was more the most expensive one. Oh yeah, this one. one was the most expensive one. Both of these were more expensive, it's true. Yeah. But guys, it's more important than buying shoes and clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so we need shoes and clothes. Buy organic food. Buy good quality food instead. Yeah, so totally. Yeah, these are tied for first. They fit all the criteria. The less you process something, the more of those good benefits, benefits. you're gonna get. Yeah, but like this, the magnesium, this and this was still the brain quite a chemicals. Difference. Like this was twelve, eleven bucks, and this was seven or five yeah. or five to seven dollars. Totally. Isn't it? And all like of these you would be able to find online. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And you always buy Giddy Yo-Yo. Like, that's what I know you for. You always talk about how great it is. It's my favorite is. one. There's yeah. a variety of flavors. I find it tastes amazing. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That's the other thing, guys. Like, you can get, like, a, with most of, of these that we picked today, you can get those different ranges from, like, 60, 50, 60, 70, 80s, 80. You can get 82. You can get 88. So there's a ton of yeah. variety. And that goes for all of these that we picked. It was hard to pick for that reason. Um, but, yeah, generally in terms of, like, health benefits the darker the better but if you really want like taste Gotta just make sure that. it's yeah just make sure it's 70 or above yeah and if you have kids and you're trying to avoid caffeine you know like a seven one of these that we talked about today in like the 70 ish range yeah. or 60 ish range it's still okay yeah and then just don't but, eat the whole chocolate bar just maybe yes, one square yeah so for if you snack, eat the yeah. whole thing like if you ate this whole thing <laughs> it would have like as much caffeine as like probably like a couple green teas like two oh. green teas something like that so you're pretty jacked so that could like really give yeah so you yeah. want it so you want it like with whenever you're eating chocolate like two squares or so like yeah. this amount is going to be like the ideal thing yeah. i almost always have more than that but to be I honest, almost always have one. <laughs> but to be honest, I try to have that much. Yeah. And most of the time I succeed unless it's PMS week. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this any, one. Please. No. But I just want to oh, eat yeah, the do chocolate try now. Do. This is from this. But this. can you think of anything else that they would want to know about this? Was that uh, pretty good? So that gives you yeah, six totally. good options, guys. If you are like vegan, you got to read your labels a little bit closer. You want to make sure it doesn't, if it says may contain milk, it might contain milk. Yeah. So if you're it's vegan, or rather, good. even more, if you have an allergy to milk, hold up that one, these three are going to be your best bet. If you really want vegan, and if you really want... Um, this is sweet. Oh, because it's 60%. Make sure you don't get... A, yeah. Is yeah. it too sweet? Kind of. Sweeter. It's pretty sweet, yeah. So if like, you don't like dark true. chocolate, look for that guy. Because this one's still really pure and yeah. good. It just would have a little bit extra sugar. It really is. Oh, and the other thing to note is all these ones that we talked about, they are from cane sugar. This is the only one that's maple syrup. So if oh, you prefer to use, really? like, some people prefer to use maple syrup or yes. coconut sugar. I have done my research in terms of sugars and sweeteners, and I have not, from what I've found, found much benefit to be honest with using maple syrup coconut sugar cane sugar like it's all you want to like make the, sugar the, or it's all like yeah like it all affects it all tends to affect your blood glucose the same way even though like a lot of magazines and stuff will say that they don't like people were all about agave but it's more steady isn't it more i mean i was just in um arizona as you guys know with gabriel cousins yep. and he was he's done a ton of research in terms of how all the sweeteners that we're talking about maple syrup cane sugar how they affect your blood glucose and it was the same across the board except for um xylitol with an x okay yep. and stevia why but because... other than that he was like maple syrup coconut sugar like and he's an expert in like yeah really checking in with how sugars are affecting so you. i should switch over to xylitol or stevia well if you really want to avoid any kind of sugar spiking right. Yeah, like if you're diabetic, guys, right. or pre-diabetic, yeah. you want to go with something with xylitol or stevia as opposed to sugar. But if you're going to have something sweet, yeah. whether it's maple syrup, coconut sugar, or cane sugar, it doesn't kind of seem to same. make a big difference. And coconut sugar is actually higher in fructose, yeah. so is agave. But and those are shown, right? and, and things or... higher in fructose are being shown not to be a good thing. So yeah. I actually personally would go with raw cane sugar before I usually really? 
I know that. What about maple syrup? Yeah, what about people. maple syrup? Is it that up there too? Um, I think maple syrup, yeah, also higher in fructose. And I personally don't like to do the fructose thing. Because there's a lot of stuff about fructose nowadays showing that it can affect your leptin sensitivity or your, sorry, your leptin signaling, your insulin signaling. So it can um, make you hungrier than maybe you would be. Yeah. Yeah. So fructose, you know, if you want to have some fructose, stick with your berries. <laughs> and that's it. Thanks as always for watching, you guys. I hope this helped guide you towards the best chocolate to buy for Christmas. Hooray! Yeah, for sure. Thanks for helping. So which one do you think is your favorite overall? Well, Giddy Yo-Yo, just because it's clean, it's Canadian, it's... Again, all things considered, and that yeah. and it tastes and it's so raw, good. raw, like... But it's then this was quite good, I mean, for my kids maybe, but maple syrup, okay, so like, that was a big draw too. Okay, so she liked this one in terms of the kids. It was a bit sweet for her. That was a big draw too, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. And then maybe I would try that one, but... I can't remember what that one Oh, yeah, that like, one's but... really good, too. So this one tastes sort of like vanilla-y, creamy. Like, this one is really good, too. That's why it was in my top three. Good to know. Okay, guys. Nice job. <laughs> my fingers are broken.